Good afternoon, and welcome to this funeral mass for fr Brother uh, Clarence Breitenbach, CSC. I believe we are ready to begin. Please stand for the opening hymn. The grace and peace of, our, of, our, of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And with your spirit. In the waters of baptism, Clarence died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory. On the day of baptism, Clarence put on Christ. On the day of his religious profession, he was closed with the grace to live the evangelical counsels. At the end of time, may Christ clothe him in glory and enfold him in his love. And the power lives and reigns for 
and his profession of professional vows, our brother Clarence received the image of St. Joseph, through whose example and prayers he sought to serve the Lord Jesus. May he come to share in the glory of his resurrection. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that the soul of your servant Clarence, who for love of Christ walked the way of perfect charity, may rejoice in the coming of your glory, and together with his brothers and sisters may delight in the everlasting happiness of your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from heaven say, Write this, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, said the Spirit. Let them find rest from their labors, for their works accompany them. The word of the Lord. my light and my salvation, of whom should I be afraid? Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation, of whom should I be light and my help, whom should I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, before whom should I shrink? The Lord is my light and my salvation, of whom should I be? One thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Hope in God and take heart. Hope in the Lord. The Lord is my light.
A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, we know that we have passed from death to life because we love our brothers. Whoever does not love remains in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life remaining in him. The way we came to know love was that he laid down his life for us, so we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory At that time, Jesus answered, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the, fa the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. On behalf of my confreres in the sanctuary and the whole congregation of Holy Cross, I'd like to extend our condolences to Brother Clarence's family, so many of whom have managed to be with us today. We rejoice in having had him among us as you had him among yourselves. I heard a voice from heaven say, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Let them find rest from their labors, for their works accompany them. I believe that if these words in our first reading today apply to anyone, they apply to Brother Clarence. 
I first met Brother Clarence 58 years ago this August when I arrived in Jordan, Minnesota to begin my novitiate. Brother Clarence was on the staff of that novitiate as he had been since it opened in 1952 and would continue to be until it closed in 1966. And a big part of our life as novices was the daily work periods, and Brother Clarence supervised the work periods. I recall this because whenever I think of Brother Clarence, I think of him as a worker. He was not a workaholic. He kept the Sabbath, took Sundays off, took time off, and went on vacation. But he was a man for whom his work was a duty assigned by religious authority, and he did it faithfully, skillfully, and conscientiously. Brother Clarence has been a presence in my life in Holy Cross in all the 58 years since I first met him in Jordan. And I have seen this devotion to his assigned work over and over again. I heard a voice from heaven say, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Let them find rest from their labors, for their works accompany them. If Brother Clarence has been a presence in my life, he has also been a presence in the three community houses in which he lived, the novitiate in Jordan, Moreau Seminary, and Holy Cross House. <clears throat> Brother Clarence is not one of our confrere whom we remember for his quirks, for his idiosyncrasies, for his curious habits. We remember him rather for always being there for common prayer, for meals, for recreation periods, and for other times when the community gathered. We remember him for being ready to help when asked or when he saw that help was needed. We remember him not as gregarious, but pleasant, civil. We remember him for going faithfully about his work, for being reliable. He was patient, steadfast, regular. These are the works that accompany Brother Clarence in our memory of him. These are the works from which he now can rest. I thought of Brother Clarence when I heard the Lord's words in today's gospel. Come to me, all you who labor, I will give you rest. And take my yoke upon you and learn from me and you will find rest. I believe that Brother Clarence has found the Lord's rest. God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ, his Son, from death. With confidence, we now pray in his name. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the church, as she continues her celebration of the 50 days of the Easter season, May she always bear witness to Christ's victory over sin and death. Let us pray to the Lord. 
for nations and governments. May they be attentive to the needs of the poor, the homeless, and refugees, having special concern for the powerless, especially the unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. <laughs> For all our neophytes, those recently baptized at the Easter Vigil, and for all those who have been received into full communion with the Catholic Church, may their commitment to Christ inspire and renew us all in our desire to follow the Lord Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. For vocations to the priesthood and the consecrated life, especially to the Brotherhood and the Congregation of Holy Cross, to which Brother Clarence testified so well by his quiet and solid presence. Let us pray to the Lord. For the family members and friends of our Brother Clarence who mourn at his passing, may they be comforted and strengthened by the Paschal mystery and the promise of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. And for our brother Clarence, who for over 62 years ministered faithfully and joyfully as a Holy Cross brother on behalf of Indiana and later the United States provinces, may he come to share in the banquet feast of heaven together with all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. In company with the Holy Mother of God, Saint Joseph, and all the saints without ceasing, let us pray to the Lord. God, our shelter and our strength. Here are the prayers we offer for our departed brother Clarence. Cleanse him of his sins and grant him the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Thank you. 
pray, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through you, our Son, Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to the setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered in your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death 
you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Andre Bassett and blessed Basil Moreau, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm with faith, with faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, and all the clergy, and the peop entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family who you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, grant to yourself and all, grant, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your brother Clarence, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you are God as you are, we shall be like you for all ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you both bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And now let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Renewed by this life-giving sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that the soul of our brother Clarence, to whom you have gave a part in your covenant, may be purified by the power of this mystery and rejoice without end in the peace of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. With faith in Christ, let us take leave of our brother Clarence. His religious life on this earth was a sign of the kingdom which is to come. May our farewell express our love for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day in that kingdom we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Clarence. In the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now in peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. In paradisum, de du campeam geri, in tua advento, so she piante martyrs et verducante in civitatem sanctam Jerusalem chorus 
Sa 